Good evening, I'm Sue Kyung Kim. And I'm James Marcus with the Eyewitness Wellesley News Watch at 8. In today's top story, a Wellesley resident has been put into the Guinness, record, bo Guinness Book of World Records. The Elm Bank Garden Club member has it on ro record for having the best lawn in North America. We now go live on the scene to see how this green thumb can keep up such a green grass. I'm Julie Oaktai and I'm here with the Guinness Book of World Records holder for Best Lawn in America. What's your name? I'm Ben. Yeah. Uh, why do you like to garden? Well, I actually don't really like gardening. I just want to be in the Guinness Book of World Records and a lot of the records look kind of hard to beat. Juggling eggs, at most lemons eaten in one minute, you know, it was hard so Best Lawn looked pretty easy to beat. And I actually had a pretty good lawn done. I like my lawn mower. I see. So why do you have why did you want to have the best lawn in America? So completely honestly, I don't know why I think this, but good lawns actually make people think good things about me, so like I could get more ladies or have more friends. I mean, it's kind of a weird thing, but yeah. Okay. Thank you for being in our interview. Pleasure. In the wide world of sports, the Wellesley Raiders have reigned undefeated this season 568-0. to zero. The Raiders head to the finals next week. Our top sports reporter has the scoop with the Raiders MVP. Where is the MVP of the Raiders? Sorry, I was late. Practice was a little bit exhausting, you know what I mean? I had to get some water after practice. But, yeah. Yeah. What's your name? I'm James Marcus. Yeah. What is your number? I'm number 35, number 35, after the best linebacker in history, Gerard Mayo. Yeah. Where do you play? For Wellesley High School. What grade are you? I'm in senior year. Um, what is your, um, what position do you play? I play QB, and on the defense, I play linebacker. What, um, how far are you in your season? Uh, we are in the championship game now, which is tomorrow, and so everything comes down to that game. It's whoever has the better game. Oh. What um, team are you playing? We're playing the Arlington Hawks from Arlington High School. Like, as you think about, like, the upcoming game, what goes through your mind? Well, how to do, like, how to, what plays to run, what to, how should we run the plays, and if we're down, how to get the team motivated again. Um, how do you, like, ex like, what's the main factor of how you think you may win? Or, like, what, what, like, how do you think you, like, can try to win, like what do you, like well, what's the? I, th I think that in the videos I've watched from the Arlington Hawks, they aren't great on the pass rush, so I think we're gonna do a most passing game and mix in some outside running. Get those rain boots ready, it looks like the sky is going to be a real mixed bag of sun and cloud. This week, let's go to our top meteorologist and see what this week's weather will be. Bring us. Hi, I'm Marcus Chalmers. And I'm John Marcus. And we're here with your seven day forecast. On Monday, it'll be partly cloudy with um, highs in the, six, in the 50s. And on Tuesday, it will be you know, with slight showers um, throughout the day. Wednesday, pretty much the same as Tuesday, kind of in the 50s around with slight showers. And Thursday, it should start to clear up with you know, around in the, in the mid-60s. No autographs, please. A big-time Hollywood celebrity has moved into our little Massachusetts town of Wellesley. The famed movie star recently purchased a home in Lower Falls to get away from the hustle and bustle of Los Angeles after wrapping up production of Dino Laser 2, Revenge of the Future Returns. Once the paparazzi and fans cleared, our entertainment reporter caught up with the American sensation to chat about living on the East Coast and plans for future films. I 
wanted to move to Wellesley to go away from the paparazzi. I mean, my father gave me all these lectures when I was a kid. Never let the paparazzi take over your life. But I mean, what can you do? There's 40 men. I'm just one man, even though I'm like a superhero. I can be like 100. I mean, 100 people but still get outnumbered by 40. I never did do good in math. Mm. If you could, what street would you live on? Oh, I would definitely have to live on Beaver Road, right near Justin Road. I mean, it's right, it's right in between Justin Road and uh, Junior Street, and just Beaver Circle is where it's at. I mean, last name like mine, everyone wants to live there. <sighs> fine, fine. Well, I hope the paparazzi don't find you. Good, good luck. Thanks, Ricky. <coughs> Are you new to Wellesley? Just move into town? We sat down with a longtime Wellesley resident to let you, all of you know, all you newcomers know about the great futures you can expect to see around town. I'm here with Mr. John Smith, a longtime resident of Wellesley, Massachusetts, and I'm here to ask him a couple questions about Wellesley. Sir, how long have you been living in Wellesley? I've been living in Wellesley for 20 years. Nice. Um, so how did you come to be living in Wellesley? Well, my whole family has been here, so I was, you know, born and raised in this town. Are there any things that I should know about this town that's, like, really important? Um, not really. I mean, it's a really fun town. They have some nice ice cream parlors, which is fun to hang out in. But other than that, you know, it's just a, it's a nice neighborhood. And is there anything you like to do for fun in Wellesley? Mostly just hang out, you know, around the parks or, like I said before, get some ice cream. I like I like this town already, so I'm gonna go see what I can find about Wellesley just by walking around. But back to you guys. Don't put that Mustang back in the garage just yet. This week's weather has been up and downs, but things might brighten up by the weekend. Let's go back to our head meteorologist for the look ahead on this weekend's weather. On Friday it's gonna be sunny, getting down to go to the Cape. It's gonna be pretty sunny out. Yeah, a high of 104. <laughs> um, yeah, on Saturday slight chance of snow. And yeah, might be a little bit chilly out. Then on Sunday, going back into next week, it's gonna be a nice day. Well, that wraps it up with the seven day forecast. Thank you. Well, that does it. Thank you for tuning into this edition of Eyewitness Wellesley News, News Watch at 8. I'm Sue Kim Kim. And I'm James Marcus. Good night. <laughs>